Hey, what's up, guys? It's Casper again, and uh, I'm going to show you something freaking awesome today. This is uh, the latest update of my launch server dot command. Instead of having it be a dot command file and having you to go to the uh, the main page over here and uh, download the server and then run it with that dot command file and all that stuff, and you know it has to be on your desktop and Otherwise, you'll get weird errors and stuff. I decided that I would make a server app. So, the way this works is you come here, make sure that all those guys out there that are having errors read this part. Um, these are the most common errors and their fixes. So, if you get any kind of an error, just refer to this part. If the error isn't on this list, feel free to uh, talk to me on Skype. But, so we're going to go here, and we're going to download the latest server app. Uh, it's going to be 14 megabytes, and the reason it's so big is because it actually has all of the server files in it. Uh, it, it contains all the files within it, so all you need to do is download that. You don't need to download the server and that, just that. And for all those paranoid people out there, here's the source for it, so, you know, being pretty open about it. Um, alright, so here we are. We got a dot zip file. We're going to unzip it. And uh, you can see right in the name, uh, it tells you which version it is. So, Tech It Server App version 1.1, that's the latest one out. And then here it'll tell you what version server you're on. So, this is the 2.1.1 server, which is the latest Tech It Server release. So, all we're going to do, double click it. Uh, open it up and give it a sec and it's going to tell you exactly where they're going to get installed so this the files are going to get installed to uh, your home directory which is here um, they're going to get installed there so we're going to click OK and give it a sec and it's going to ask you how much RAM you want to give your server so let's give it 2 gig and just type in the number not anything else just the number and so I'll give it two gigabytes of RAM. It'll open up terminal and do everything for us. Oh, there we go, starting up. And if I open up a new window, this folder wasn't here a second ago. If you don't believe me, you can go back and check. But you can see the server is getting made. And it's doing all the map related stuff. But yeah, it's as simple as that, guys. Um, that's it. That's all you need is this file right here. It'll do everything for you on one double click. Um, and then once this is started, we'll just give it a sec to. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a whole other map. But anyways, once this is started um, and you've made your server for the first time, all you have to do is double click this again, and it'll launch it up just fine. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions. Uh, just drop me a message on Skype and just for the sake of this video I'll show you real quick that this does work we stop this and close out of that and then I can actually quit terminal again you don't even have to have terminal open for this it'll do it all for you and do this again it'll be much quicker this time and it'll ask you how much RAM you want again that's another cool thing is it'll ask you how much RAM you want to give your server every time you boot it up so you can change it around pretty easily so I'll give it 2 gig again and this time it'll boot up a lot faster Alright, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.